Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to go from this to this in Photoshop. So let's jump right into it. Uh, you want to open up your image in Photoshop. The first thing you're going to do is just duplicate your image. You can do that, duplicate your layer. Uh, you can do that by pressing Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC. Um, otherwise, just drag the layer to this little plus sign and it will create a copy for you. Next, you're going to go to Filter, Blur, and you're going to add a bunch of blur. Now you can choose which type of blur you want, depending on the final effect. But we're going to go with a motion blur. And we're going to add quite a bit of motion blur. Something like 200 could work for this. Press OK. We're then going to click on the, this little white rectangle, which is the mask of the effect. And we're going to grab a soft brush. Uh, we're going to make sure it's on a low flow, something like 4 or 3%. Um, and we're going to make sure that the black is in front. What this is going to do is now whatever you're going to brush, it's going to like remove the effect. Uh, so I want this side to be less blurry. So that's what I'm going to do. And we get this, so no filter, filter. We're then going to select both our layers, right click and convert to smart object. Uh, this way, when you double click on your smart object icon over here in the layers, you can go back to having the layers separate. That way you can change the blur amount, you can change the layer mask and all that stuff. So that's pretty amazing right there. We're going to next go to Filter, Filter Gallery. And first off, we are going to add a halftone pattern effect. And uh, I'm going to go with a line effect. You can decide the size you want and the contrast. So you can just play around with it. I'm going to go with a really low size and really low contrast. And then I'm going to click on this plus sign here at the bottom and I'm going to choose graphic pen. You can decide the stroke length you want. I'm going to go to the maximum and then decide the light dark balance. And I'm going to go with something like this and we're at the stroke direction. We're going to go horizontal like the halftone pattern. Next, just press OK. I'm going to then duplicate again my layer and on my bottom copy, I'm just going to throw away here, just drag it onto the trash can, um, the filter gallery effect. And now select your top layer and just change the blending mode to something like screen. We can now finally just add some textures to this to just finalize it. And yeah, that's basically it. Comment down below if you have any tutorial suggestions or if you have any questions. Check the links in the description down below. There's my Instagram and there's my texture packs and gradient map packs. And yes, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.